What is the bad habit your wife thinks you have? Maybe that's more appropriate. I don't know. Yeah, maybe we'll. Maybe. <laughs> I'll I'll tell my version. I'll tell her version. Oh, there you go. That's They're good. Two I like totally it. different things, and one of them does involve food and wine. Oh, okay. My two favorite items. This is Up and Country on 93.7 The Bull. It's powered by V Livecast. I'm your host, Sue Bonzel. Let's get this show started. He has opened for Chris Stapleton, Lee Bryce, Clint Black, Jana Kramer, and so many more. I'm super excited that Eric Burgett is here today. Welcome, Eric. Thank you, Sue. Good to be here. Yeah, and he's we got him set up with a little bit of bourbon today, so you know it's going to be a really good interview. Okay, that's how you know. So, so Eric, uh, we we talked a little bit, and uh, you know, most of these country artists that I interview, the majority of them are guitar players. You do something a little bit different. Tell me about getting into using uh, the piano keyboard instead of the guitar. Instead of the guitar, <laughs> I chose the keyboard. Um, I just grew up playing piano, honestly. Um, I was four years old. I was already listening to country music, but I was also listening to guys like Billy Joel. Uh, yeah. And um, guys in the country world that played piano, Ronnie Millsat. Yep. Charlie Rich got the got the Jerry Lee Lewis, you know, and oh, totally. Even the more rock stuff, like uh, the Bob Seger stuff that had the piano yeah. driven stuff in it, old time rock and roll. <laughs> Gets people going. Just all those songs, you know. I'd be right on the tractor with my dad. Yeah. And that's where it all started, really. Just hearing the piano, hopping off the tractor, jumping on the piano bench. And away I went. That's so cool. Now, did I did I read somewhere that your folks had like a uh, a, a bar or a restaurant or something like that that you Absolutely. would play in as well? Yeah, that was the corn crib, cor the, the good old corn crib. <laughs> it's nestled right off Highway 121, going through my hometown. It's a really unique place. It's built out of two grain bins, two corn bins, really? two silos. However, you all know you the term them? out there. Um, <laughs> they're put together by a middle building. You always got to look it up. Look up the corn crib, Latham, Illinois, and that's where I started playing. That is so cool. <laughs> so it was it was the corn crib, and it was church also, right? Because yes, a bar, like, and right? Right? <laughs> this this sounds like a country <laughs> song. I think <laughs> really, really is. It's it's my life. Like I I would go go from playing corn crib on Saturday night, wake up in the morning and play for the offering and. <laughs> um, there was nothing like it, but you know, a 40 person strong church on a good day. Oh, wow. Was, okay. A small town of 400 people. Total, oh, whoop, so. whoop. <laughs> Bring it down the house Sunday morning. <laughs> yeah, we did. Now you have a new single out. This is wild girls. I do. Yeah. yeah. Wild girl wild came girl. out okay, wild girl. Yeah. Last Friday. It seems, it seems like forever. Honestly, <laughs> sometimes like you, you promote a song so much in a, in a week, you feel like you've been promoting it. For a whole month. Well, yeah, I mean, you've and you've done a great job. Like, thank you, you. like you said, on TikTok, uh, you want to check out any of his music or preview. Man, TikTok's the place to be. Absolutely, yeah. I'll, I'll give previews of songs I'm coming that are coming out <laughs> two months from now and get y'all's opinion on it. We're also on TikTok Live over here right now. Yeah, we are. <laughs> but uh, yeah, Wild Girl came out last uh, last Friday. Okay, so. so tell me about writing that song and you know, like what it means to you. Yeah. Uh, I wrote it with two of my good buddies, Lonnie Fowler and Matt McClure, my pr producer, who's just a kick ASS you guy. You can say producer. it. It's okay. Yeah, okay, I'm watching my language. Kick ass. <laughs> um, he had a he had a uh, a percussion beat going. Um, I was like telling these guys my idea. I had this idea. You drive me wild, drive me wild, wild girl, and the play off oh, the word wild girl, the way the hook. It's, it's in the got, song, it's, you know, we wanted to be hooky and to the yes. ear and, um, and it's, it's a little more on the poppier side, I think, but, but also kind of what's going on out there and still has Eric Burgett sound in it. We have right. some light keys sent stuff in the background, driving guitars and it's a feel good. Roll your window down song. Oh yeah, so. absolutely. It's got, a, I do like the hook that, like the first time I was kind of listening, I'm like, Oh, it's kind of cool. And then I heard the hook and I was like, okay. That's a good one. Thank you. I like it. Thank I you. like it. And that's when I'm like, I got to talk to you. We're talking. Thank so, yeah. you. Take it out to California. That's right. Roll windows down. Exactly. <laughs> now, uh, speaking of other songs, so you have another song, uh, Late at Night. Now, I understand you wrote that for your first dance at your I wedding. Did. I did. So did your wife know about it ahead of time? Was it a surprise? Like, how did all that happen? She did not hear a single bit of it. 
Really? Um, I uh, I played that very good. <laughs> <laughs> it was it was it was awesome. So I wrote it. <clears throat> um, we ended up writing it a couple months. We finished it a couple months before my wedding. I think the only little thing that my wife heard was like the piano intro. Right. Da, 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 da. And and she's like, oh, he's she's just like, working on that? some other song. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm, just, I'm I'm working on different things and. Um, so when we got out on the dance floor, we had, um, we had a different first dance song picked and little did she know, I, uh, I, uh, so we switched it up. The DJ gave him the song beforehand and I'm like, Hey, here's the deal. Play this as our first oh dance. My, my wife gosh. doesn't know it. And we got out there and wow. she was just so surprised and Aww. she loved it. And man. Oh, he's so romantic. <laughs> <laughs> and, and your wife's beautiful too, by Thank the way. You, by the way yes. <laughs> now, um, I know, you know, obviously, you know, you love your wife. And I saw some uh some great videos of you uh cooking for her. Uh, you know, Valentine's Day not too long ago, you made a very special pretzel. I did. <laughs> I did. I I love cooking. I love watching cooking. Like it'll be that late at night thing like we're in bed and we we flip to the cooking channel right and it's just one of those things like i, I have a passion for it i love sm smoking uh chicken on the on the smoker i love grilling one thing i had been doing for a while is cooking with beer bush light oh, has oh, been <laughs> An avid part of my journey. Um, <laughs> He's in my looking for an endorsement, so Bush Light. <laughs> so if you're listening, yeah. Come on, Bush Light. <laughs> um, so I, I, that whole recipe, like I was like, okay, beer pretzel heart or beer pretzel. Yeah. I'm gonna make a heart using beer dough. Beer, beer. It's so cute. And uh, so I surprised her with it. She came home from work, and uh, I had it like in the oven. <laughs> And I love that you actually did the, it wasn't just like, hey, I made a pretzel. Like you did the recipe for everyone. So, you know, not only is he sharing his talents in music, but now like you're like got the cooking show. You like, you'd be like the next Trisha Yearwood, right? Hey, I like that. Show. That's a really good compliment. <laughs> Thank you. Music, food, good people. And Thank beer. You. And beer. And yeah, beer. Yeah, yeah music, food, and beer. That is me. In That's a what we got. That's what we got. <laughs> um, so we, I do want to play a little game with you. Okay. Oh. Uh, so this will be this will be fun. Uh, but we're gonna take just a little bit of a break. I want to get you set up because we want to hear you play your new song or what? What are, are you, which song are you gonna play? I, I, I can share the wild. Girl okay. Song. All right. Well, that'll be good. Yeah. That'll be good. We'll get you set up. Uh, to play that, and then uh, we're gonna come back. We're gonna finish up with a little game. It's a little, it's a little get to know you game. Don't worry, it's not scary at all. Okay. Uh, but we're gonna play that uh, in just a minute. So we're gonna take a little break and come right back. What's up, everybody? Eric Berger here. I'm gonna share with you a brand new song I just put out. This one's called Wild Girl. So go check it out if you like it. Learn the lyrics, sing along to it. Thank you. Strong, I'm down to drink it. If there's a fight, I'm gonna bring it. Show me a bowl, I'm good to ride. Got something fast, I won't think twice. Wanna rally up, then I'm your guy. Huh. I'm a little bit crazy with the reckless tree. It's even crazier how you got to me. You drive me wild, drive me wild, wild. Take the wheel, make me feel like I'm out of control Can't keep my eyes on the road Yeah, you, you drive me crazy You, do it so easy You drive me wild, drive me wild, wild girl Set my fire, drive me wild, wild girl You make it so damn hard to breathe Wild, wild girl 
my fire and drive me wild, wild girl. All right, that was Wild Girl. Okay, that was awesome. Thank you. So much fun. Thank I'm you. loving the new song. Uh, where can we get it? Everywhere. Everywhere. All your digital streaming outlets. We got Pandora, Apple. I'm just, I don't even need to name them off because y'all, y'all look it up. You can go to my links and my TikTok and uh, Instagram, my website, ericburgett.com. Y'all get it. Go You'll grab get it. it. Go get it. Go get it. Help him out, man. All right. Before we uh, let him leave uh, or give him more bourbon, I don't know, uh, we're going to play a little game uh, that I like to call Truth or Truth. Instead okay. of truth or dare, because okay. I don't want to make you do anything. Can I sip around crazy. the truth? You Go ahead. There you go. This is, we got the truth serum on board. We're ready to go. <laughs> okay. So I picked out a couple of little uh, questions here. So you get to pick okay. your own, you get to pick your own question. All right. So. Um, dun, 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 dun. <laughs> yep. All right. What do we got? It's blank. Oh, no. <laughs> What's a bad habit you have? Ooh. <laughs> What is what is the bad habit your wife thinks you have? Maybe that's more appropriate. I don't know. Yeah, maybe we'll maybe <laughs> <laughs> I'll I'll tell my version. I'll tell her version. Oh, there you go. That's They're good. They're two like totally it. different things, and one of them does involve food and wine. Oh, okay. My two favorite items. Okay. Because we're talking about California and stuff. Right. And like, yeah. Uh, anytime I have <laughs> pizza, I have to have a glass of wine with it. Okay, I like it's, your style. I, some call it <laughs> fancy, but so, I just call it Eric Berg. It's know. it it's it's Italian, right? Yeah, like, <laughs> like pairing food and wine is, and it's got to be red and bold. And, yeah, I don't know, just something about Italy and wine. I know that pizza is one of my favorite things. Um, <laughs> I'll turn the <laughs> turn the other way, and Amy thinks my bad habit is leaving the toilet seat up. I'm very I think sorry, that's honey. Pretty that's pretty common. Pretty common. And we even got the soft clothes toilet. Oh yeah, lids, and I still like. She's like, just <laughs> she, you, you don't, don't have to worry about it. it. Like, just <laughs> go down on top. <laughs> but anyway, I'm working on it. I'm working on it. I promise. <laughs> just like every other man. Well, some are, some aren't. But you know, hey, it's all good. <laughs> okay, next. Here, I'll okay. take that one. All right, next. We'll we'll do we'll do three of them. How about okay. that? It won't tor torture you too badly. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have a hidden talent? Oh well, I mean, you you have a you have a really good talent that everybody knows about. But. Usually, yeah, I would, usually I'd say piano, like back in the day, because um, people are like I'm a country music artist. But what's my hidden talent? I play piano. <laughs> <laughs> um, I I am uh, <clears throat> I feel like I'm pretty um, good at using Adobe and oh. uh, like using After Effects. I make all my lyric videos. Okay, there you go. And I I love. I just love being in that like uh, creative space, putting art, art and art together. My song, putting images together with it, and I don't know something about it. But that that would be my hidden talent. I think that's a great hidden <laughs> talent. Good, we have uh, we have work for you. <clears throat> All right, let's go. Yeah, you're you know, just in case the music thing doesn't work out, you know, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Do not say that. <laughs> right, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> let's see. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Tell us your cheesiest pickup line. Oh, there we go. Or maybe the one that you got your wife to go out with you or something. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> probably what's crack lacking? <laughs> oh, what's crack lacking? <laughs> <laughs> or what's shaking bacon? <laughs> That's a good one, too. <laughs> what's up, Chuck? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you want some bread dough? <laughs> Okay, that was fun. I won't torture you any longer with that. <laughs> well, we've had some fun with Eric Burgett here today. We got to hear his song. Uh, you, you got that song out. You guys can pick it up everywhere. Wild Girl. And then uh, what's so? What's next? What's next after that? Um, lots of shows. We're always booking. We got we got some really cool things happening this summer that I'm right. super pumped about. I. I'm gonna go month to month here. I'm gonna try. My manager's in the house, and he's, <laughs> I don't want to be like, "Hey, what's that date? What's that date?" But okay, uh, he knows them all. <laughs> <laughs> in May, I have my own show at the Bluebird. Nice. My band's playing on a Sunday night. It's a Sunday spotlight night, and they feature for an hour, hour and fifteen minutes. Awesome. Um, 
a featured artist, and that will be me. Hey. I'm pumped. Um, June, we're opening up for Lee Bryce again. There we go. Uh, up in upstate New York. Cool. We're playing Country Fest in Cadott, Wisconsin on Florida Georgia Lions Night. That's going to be super pumped Fun. to be there. Um, and more music, too. Okay, We're good. cranking out a new song every All six right. weeks. So stay wow. tuned for the next one. I'm, but you got to join my TikTok. See, if you're yeah, on my TikTok, exactly. go to my TikTok. You might get a little preview of it in the coming weeks. We'll see. Because it's. I think it's going to be fun for y'all. Okay. So. that's. We're going to get the inside scoop. Got to follow on TikTok. Uh, follow me too, Sue Bonzel, on TikTok and uh, Up and Country on Instagram and Up and Country Up and Country .com. You can get all of the artist interviews that I've done with uh, these amazing artists. Thank you again, Thank Eric. You. Thank you. Of course. Thank you. Thanks for tuning in to Up and Country, where we have new episodes every Tuesday. And be sure to visit upandcountry.com for all of the episodes and information about our VIP club, where you're going to get exclusive backstage access. And if you're on Instagram or TikTok, make sure to follow me, Sue Bonzel. I'll see you next week.